Welcome to the Sandridge Energy Studios at Opubco. I'm Angie Bruss, and this is News OK TV for Tuesday, March 13th, 2012. Thanks so much for joining me. Expect highs in the upper 70s and low 80s for the remainder of the week. There is a slight chance for showers and scattered storms beginning Wednesday and lasting through the weekend. The threat for severe weather is low. Well, we could come close to breaking some warm weather records in the Northeast and Midwest. Meteorologists say normally the jet stream would be cutting across the middle of the country, but it's further up, keeping the colder weather way up north. Well, two groups hoping to save Stage Center were told their proposals failed to include the required proof of financing. One plan proposed turning the building into a children's museum, while the second suggested reopening it as an architectural museum. The Oklahoma City Community Foundation, which owns the theater, will proceed with a property appraisal. Foundation officials say both groups can acquire a right of first refusal on any sale of the property. Well, Oklahoma employers expect to hire at a pace that would be among the tops in the nation. Companies that took part in the Manpower Employment Outlook survey say they plan to hire more workers from April to June. Well, Oklahoma State lost a bid to regain millions of dollars in insurance premiums. The university purchased life insurance policies for several boosters, with OSU being the beneficiary. The plan was intended to raise money for school sports. University officials were told the school could make $350 million from the program. However, the fundraiser ended with OSU paying $33 million in premiums and nothing to show for it. The university sued Lincoln National Life Insurance Company to regain the money, but a federal judge ruled Oklahoma State University is not entitled to the refund. The Sooner women will enter the NCAA tournament as a number six seed. OU will play Michigan at home in Norman on Sunday night. This will be the first NCAA tournament for the Michigan Wolverines in more than a decade. Oklahoma State quarterbacks Clint Shelf and J.W. Walsh and Wes Lunt are battling for the starting spot. The three candidates showed off their skills during the football team's first spring practice Monday. Coach Mike Gundy says he hopes to name the starting quarterback by the end of spring. Well, the Oklahoma City Thunder will be at home tonight to take on the Houston Rockets at 7 p.m. The Thunder hits the road on Thursday to play the Denver Nuggets. Then it's on to San Antonio to play the Spurs Friday. They return home on Sunday night to play the Portland Trail Blazers. My goodness, the Thunder is very busy and spring sports are in full swing. So obviously it's going to be a good year, I'm sure, for all of our teams. Have a great Tuesday.